at Canyon Ranch, we offer the opportunity to come and see everyone at once. You have all of this activity occurring over multiple days. Everybody's sharing their results. Everybody works together. And at the end of the day, not only do we provide you a roadmap going forward, but in a longer term relationship, we'll provide you roadside assistance. <laughs> you know, it's like, let's help you along over the next six months to six years and beyond. Welcome back to the Fit Insider Podcast. I'm your host, Joe Veneri. Today, I'm joined by Mark Rivers, CEO of Canyon Ranch. In this episode, we explore Canyon Ranch's evolution from a pioneering wellness resort to comprehensive health and well-being brand. Mark shares insights on the company's expansion, including new resorts, wellness clubs, and residential communities. Plus, we discuss Canyon Ranch's approach to longevity, the importance of human connection, and how the brand is innovating to meet shifting consumer needs. Let's get into it. Today's episode is brought to you by eGym. eGym provides fitness and health facilities with smart workout solutions built on its ecosystem of hardware, software, and partners. But it's more than cool tech. Their connected training experience delivers business results while helping members reach their wellness goals. If you run a gym, health club, YMCA, or any kind of fitness facility, you should check them out. Visit eGym.com to learn more. Hi, Mark. Welcome to Fit Insider. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. It's great. Good to be with you. Yeah, a lot to talk about. It's, it seems like you know every time I look, there's a new update or development from Canyon Ranch, and uh, listeners will be familiar certainly with you know the the resorts and the spas and everything you have going on. But maybe just to set the stage, what is the kind of current state of the business? How did you come to the CEO role? Just that kind of background, and we'll get into it from there. You know, Canyon Ranch, I'm, I'm lucky. I, yeah, I get to be at the helm of one of the great brands in wellness, and I. I feel blessed and grateful for it every day. Our roots go back to 1979, our first resort in Tucson, Arizona, created by Melanie Did Zuckerman. You know, at the time is actually, they called it a fitness resort. It was kind of one of the first wellness resorts, but I guess the terminology was fitness. And, you know, 1979 then led into the 80s and people were doing aerobics and all of those sorts of things. But in hindsight, it really was one of the first true wellness resorts. I think of us as something of an OG in the space at a time when wellness may not even have been a word in the dictionary. It might have been, but it may not have been as well. Today, you know, wellness is, you know, I, I joke that it's probably the most overused term since farm to table dining. You know, I, mean, I guess, you know, when Applebee's is claiming farm to table dining, you might have jumped the shark a little bit. Uh, you know, I think in wellness, everybody's in wellness now. You know, we've got new ideas for resorts being prompted by personal finance experts and nightclub operators. And you've got, you know, you've got everybody's like jumping into the space and has been around the space. There's a lot of noise and I understand why. I mean, I think coming out of COVID, especially, I think we've, there was an acceleration of, of mind share around people's individual wellness and their well-being and health, both physical and mental health, certainly coming out of that period. And and, you know, in, in an age of technology as well, I think there's always new entrepreneurs and new ideas and people chasing opportunities in space. So there's a lot of noise. And I think, you know, for us every day, you know, we wake up and, and say, as someone who's been in it for almost five decades, how, where's our lane again? And, and, and also just ensuring that we're evolving and being relevant and fresh and taking advantage of the technologies that are out there or the new interest areas that are out there meeting consumers where they are, we're built for the long haul, right? Where we've been around for a long time, we expect to be around a lot longer. And so there's probably never been a more exciting time to be in wellness. And at the same time, it's an area where there's just a lot of traffic. So you've got to really find your lane. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, a great kind of lens to approach the conversation. And I'd be curious, kind of two things, also maybe a little bit context and foundational one, what is the kind of scope of the business today? You know, we mentioned starting out with that initial kind of kind of fitness resort and now really defining this like wellness destination. And so, yeah, for folks who aren't familiar, like whether it's, I know there's a couple of different concepts in terms of the resort, the spa, now the wellness clubs, what does this kind of portfolio look like and how did you come into the CEO role? 
Yeah. So, you know, our, our portfolio looks like this. We have our original resort in Tucson, Arizona that goes back to 1979. We have a second resort, full-scale resort in Lenox, Massachusetts, in the Berkshires of Western Massachusetts, about two and a half hours, two and a half to three hours from both Boston and New York. We have a smaller retreat, a miniature resort, 38 rooms in Woodside, California, which is up the hill from Silicon Valley up in the Redwoods. Not a full Canyon Ranch offering. It's a Canyon Ranch brand. We operate the property, but because it's smaller, it may not have the full scale and scope of what we do on our two main resort properties. We operate the largest day spa in North America, the Canyon Ranch at the Venetian in Las Vegas. Um, about a year ago, in uh, late 2023, we opened up our first wellness club and spa combined, kind of an urban concept in Fort Worth, Texas, which is our corporate headquarters town. That's got fitness, some Canyon Ranch health and performance offerings, a full-scale spa and salon, also kind of a, a, a concept that we call CR Vitality, which is a lot of recovery technology, red light, uh, shift wave, neuro technology, some, the hyper ice and therabody uh, products and so on, higher ground, some higher ground EMF products and some different things there to kind of help in athletic recovery or just general recovery. And we have under construction today our first ever ground up resort. All of our other resorts had a prior life and we acquired or, or, or made our way to those, but they had a prior life. Our first ground up resort in Austin, outside of Austin, Texas, 141 rooms under construction today will open in uh, mid 2026. And that's on about a 600 acre ranch west of Austin. And that will also include a full build out about 129 homes on the campus as well. In total, it's, a, it's just about 900 million of probably about 900 million of total investment over, you know, or build out and 129 homes, again, all built with wellness in mind you know, and kind of a thread of uh, wellness lifestyle experiences for all the home buyers. So every home comes with infrared sauna, every home comes with cold plunge, some other different uh, techniques and tools around that. So uh, we've got that and, and we're very much in growth mode. I think we're very much looking at other opportunities. We're very much in innovation mode. I think we're trying to, to self audit ourselves a little bit and make sure that we're reflecting, you know, new information, new science. We've always been science and research-based as an, as an organization. So, but there is new science, there is new research and, and kind of trying to embrace that with different, different experiences, different products, different things that uh, our guests and consumers can experience at all of our properties. And so whether it's longevity on the one hand or some new programs that might be around mental health or spiritual wellness or some other things, we're, we're constantly trying to, uh, create and advance products that we think are kind of new and interesting and, and will engage consumers. When it comes to these homes, is this, you're the, you know, basically real estate agent, you're selling the homes, you own them, or is it you're partnering to develop kind of like what the wellness aspect is? What does that look like? We're the developer. We're the developer. We're selling, uh, and we haven't started the sales program for the homes yet. That'll, that'll start in early 2025, but the homes we actually we are the developer on our total campus. Uh, the homes were designed by a great Texas architecture firm called Lake Flato, one of the most acclaimed, probably the most acclaimed architecture firm in, in Texas with this sort of central Texas hill country design aesthetic, along with all these wellness features that we collaborated on to infuse into the idea of how do you live here? How do you live in a wellness, basically a wellness community? Um, and so when you live on this campus, you'll, you, you know, a buyer, you'll buy the homes, you'll own the homes. We don't have a rental pool program. So those are, that's your second home or your third home, or in some cases it might even be your primary home. Then you also buy a membership into the resort, much like you'd buy a membership into a golf club in a golf course community. But then you'll have access to all the things that we do within our resort as it relates to, to fitness or personal enrichment, our spa facilities, our dining, all of the other things. So it's kind of the opportunity to have this uh, fully integrated wellness experience. Um, we've had success with that before at our Tucson property. We have a campus of homes there. We've had uh, a smaller campus of, of some homes in Lenox, Massachusetts, uh, years ago developed a condo tower in Miami Beach. So, you know, we've got a little bit of experience there and, and people, People are today, I think, are interested in kind of a unique way of living. You know, if, if you're at a certain 
financial or educational attainment level and you're seeking wellness, which many people at the higher ends of, you know, wealth and, and educational attainment do, you know, we do offer the opportunity to have that be a part of your life and not just your lifestyle, but actually integrated into your life and your day-to-day, day-to-day life. Yeah. I think that's incredibly appealing and a unique way to kind of seize this opportunity. And you alluded to it, you know, in some ways, Canyon Ranch existing and defining wellness, certainly for an era. And now this, what does wellness mean? We, we kind of talk about it as, you know, it's different things to different people. And it's certainly very difficult to put kind of one label on it. When you think about maintaining this brand and this offering and all the things that come along with that, while kind of trying to, I don't know if it's keep up because I think from your perspective, it's more of like defining what this means in the context of, you know, Canyon Ranch, but how do you say, Hey, this is the lane or lanes that we play in to maybe not be distracted. You mentioned, you know, kind of level setting and checking with yourself and making sure that you are playing in the right areas. What does that decision-making process look like? And how do you even balance not only the different concepts, resort, residential retreat, real estate, but also holistic wellness, beauty, self-care, longevity, uh, all yeah. those things like, you know, coming into the mix. Well, it's interesting because you, you also raise the point or affirm the, the point that, you know, wellness is, it's, it's a, it's a bigger bucket, right? For, for many wellness was kind of just nutrition and fitness and it's not, I mean, and I think that's actually our strength. The idea that we've always had a big bucket and our big bucket is, you know, uh, wellness and well being around body and mind and spirit that we've been, we've had authority and authenticity in that space for decades. And so, you know, our lane is, is delivering on that promise of trying to help, help you live your healthiest and happiest life as a total person, as a total human. And for us as well, when you look at the depth of the offerings that we have and the commitment that we have to our depth, you know, with board certified doctors and nutritionists and mental therapists and people, uh, spiritual wellness guides and sports science and chiropractors and, you know, all of these points in between, we have always been committed. And I think our strength is, is our commitment to, to the long haul, the long run, you know, and the whole idea that in reality, wellness is, is not, it, there isn't an express lane for wellness, right? I mean, sometimes we all want, we're all chasing like that quick fix, that yeah. one supplement or that one idea or that one podcast, if I listen to, or that whatever it might be. And it's not that, you know, it's actually, it's digging in and finding that path and embracing that path that will help you live your, your very best life. And, you know, I, and for me, I'd also add, for me, it's actually personal. I mean, it's very personal for me. I'm 59. I am on my own wellness and longevity journey for certain. And I've realized myself, it's not one quick hit. It's not one short term fix. It's actually tackling all of it. And, and it's, and it, and it isn't just my nutrition or it isn't just my fitness. It's, it's, it's my mental health. It's my emotional health. It's my spiritual well-being. It's my connection to the outdoors. It's my ability to, to just lift myself up and have, have a, do a better job every day at finding my way forward. And because I know in my, in my case, I'm never going to be as young as I am today. So, you know, what am I doing today to, to live younger, longer? What am I doing to be well? What am I doing to, to ensure that my own personal wellness is effectuated so that I can, you know, support my team, my company, my colleagues, my family, my friends, all of my goals and aspirations personally and professionally. So it's, it's very personal. It's like, you know, we talk, we also talk a lot about longevity, which, which we should talk about in a second, because we've just started a new program around that. But, you know, I, I've also said, you know, for too many people, I think they view longevity and some of these wellness initiatives as an app store download. And it's just not, it is, you know, our wellness and our longevity, it's the ultimate human endeavor. It's the ultimate human endeavor, right? We, 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 you know, it's like every day, how do we ensure our own preservation and prosperity? And so, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm proud of what we do. And, and there are many others in the space who do great things in different lanes and in different places. And I have great respect for our industry. I appreciate how our industry has become 
more sophisticated and more polished and and thoughtful and is innovative. And, you know, there's a lot of thought leaders in the space, but I'm proud of what we do and the fact that we we create that human connection. We balance that with technology. Uh, we base it in science and we do, we just create these amazing human connections that provide care and compassion and different services and treatments to help people along the, along the way themselves. And, you know, it's, it's, we, you know, for some people, they Canyon Ranch was, a, a, it was, or is a spa resort or it's a desert resort. It's, and we are those things, but you know, people also come to us and seeking help and guidance and service around you know, different healthcare concerns or different uh, trauma or seeking healing or seeking fitness or, see, you know, just seeking a, a reset. And I, I think our ability to be very human in what we do is our absolute greatest strength. I was, and I think that's a great transition because I was going to ask what is the kind of typical experience, but there isn't a typical experience because it is so personalized and varied depending upon what you're seeking. So maybe a different way to ask that is, what does that user journey look like to say, oh, this is why I'm coming. This is what I'm seeking out. And then this is how I'm kind of choosing from or being led through the different services and options that Canyon Ranch offers. Because, you know, as you're going through, I don't even think that while most people recognize the brand and think, you know, resort or spa or, you know, holistic wellness, all these different things, maybe the all the things that are offered and the reasons that people do seek you out maybe aren't as well known to just like the everyday person. We have a pretty full menu of options. Um, and when you say, and when you execute on the promise of supporting people for body, mind, and spirit in the context of a resort that also has, you know, pools and spas and, you know, amenities and things like that, you're, you know, you're taking on a lot, but we've been fortunate that we've been in this business for, of just helping serving people and helping them along a health, healthy path. And so we have, we have guests of course, who come just for the spa. They just want to come and have spa, uh, facials and skincare and massages and just chill out, whether it's in the desert uh, in Tucson or during the summer fall foliage in New England or, you know, points in between Woodside, California, it's set among the redwoods. You know, we also have people who come and looking for, you know, a reset, a physical reset or mental reset. You know, it's like, uh, people may have gone through a you know, recent divorce or some trauma or something, you know, the loss of a loved one, whatever else it might be, and come seeking a place of solace and, and tranquility. And we, we can help you along that way. We've had people uh, come in and train to, to go to the Olympics. I mean, athletes who come in and, you know, because we have all the state-of-the-art fitness equipment and sports professionals around performance and sports medicine and chiropractors and trainers and all those sorts of things. I was recently in Tucson and uh, as it just happened to happen to meet a guy at dinner, young guy, young guy, they're all by himself, uh, introduced himself as Nick, his name was Nick. And I said, you know, have you been here before? He said, yeah, I was here last year about this time. And I'm here again this year at this time. And I said, so like kind of what you're, what, what, what are you here for? And as it uh, turned out, he was an active NFL football player who had come by himself and just wanted to spend about a week before he was going to OTAs or training camp or something like that, and just kind of get himself set. And everything from eating healthy to training to getting some assistance with sleep, you know, making sure they were sleeping better, exploring some different areas of nutri nutrition and hydration, and even had expressed to me he had spent some time with a couple of our therapists had just gone through a bad breakup with a girlfriend, you know, and he was like, he just wanted to get mind and body cleared up and ready to roll so that he could run into camp and go have a crusher of an NFL season and make his way to a second contract, <laughs> you know? So, you know, it's, it's, it runs the gamut, but I think that's the beauty of it is that we can find that link. We can find that connection and connective tissue with all of our guests of almost every age of every background, because there's something in all of us that's, that's trying to find our way well whatever it is, physically or mentally or spiritually. The Fit Insider Podcast is brought to you by our friends at eGym. This is an exciting partnership for us, and not just because eGym makes some of the most innovative fitness products out there, but because the entire eGym team, led by their CEO, Philip, is committed to making health, fitness, and well-being more accessible for everyone. And that's a mission we can get behind. By combining their smart equipment with integrated software and hundreds of connected partner brands, eGym helps fitness facilities stand out 
by delivering a personalized, gamified workout experience that improves outcomes and member engagement. So if you're a gym or health club operator thinking about how to best serve your members while driving business results, go see what eGym is up to at eGym.com. Yeah, you mentioned this in the context of both the, the broader industry and also Canyon Ranch. There's this kind of bridging into self-care and healthcare, or certainly wellness and, and medicine and pushing into, you know, blood panels and DEXA scans yeah. and full body MRIs and all these things that now both are opening the door into, you know, quantifying and delivering much more impactful results because, Hey, we can start to say like, this is actually what's happening as we, uh, you know, deliver these, these treatments and protocols, but certainly the conversation around longevity and health span, you mentioned, you know, launching some new programs around that. What, what does that entail? How do you think about the opportunity in that space? And yeah, maybe just what's kind of exciting you about that? Longevity, it's certainly a buzz term, but I think it's also just a super relevant term, right? Because, you know, we're all living a little bit longer. We're much more focused on the length of our lives, you know, our lifespan, but also the health span, right? The health span being how long, how long are we actually healthy for? It's not just lifespan. And, and, the duration that we'll have. It's more like, okay, so great. Well, tell me my, tell me how old I'm going to be and tell me how long I'm going to be healthy and, or how do I get to that path? And there's a lot of, there's a lot of activity in that space. I knew about a year ago that I wanted us as a company and as a brand to be active in that space, to be a leader in that space and an innovator in that space. But I wanted to be sure we were doing it in our authoritative and authentic way. And we're, we're differentiating ourselves against others. And it took me about six, seven, eight months of sort of assessing the landscape to understand how I wanted to see us come out in that. And there was actually an aha moment for me a little bit when I had seen one of the cutting edge longevity ideas out there and somebody was talking about, all right, we'll give you a magic number of what we think you can live to be. And then it was sort of like, and then they held up their phone and, and said something like, and you can track all of your information on your phone and you'll never have to wait in a doctor's office again. And I said to myself, wow, that's that's interesting in kind of a Jetson sort of way. But, I, you know, but what about the human connection? Right. What about actually getting advice and counsel from real people who, with real expertise and training, connecting and communicating with them, not just in a chat, but actually face-to-face, -face, being transparent, being vulnerable, leaning into them, finding some expertise and perspective that you might not otherwise ever get. And that aha for me was, that's our lane. Our lane was, sure, technology is a part of it, everything that we do today, unquestionably. But what we do better than anybody in my book is provide that human connection and have experts in so many different areas who've been doing it for years, have seen thousands of patients, have, have, been, have studied at the best institutions, have put their work into practice around the world, have done all of these different things. And I said, you know, our program is one in which we should actually embrace you around longevity with that human bear hug as best as we possibly can. So we launched a program a couple of months ago called Longevity 8, and it was built around the eight different principles of longevity. And again, I picked I picked the number eight and I want because there were actually eight disciplines we related to. But not just that, I was finding it a little bit off center when most of the longevity discussion was really just fitness and exercise. And for us, I said, no, it's much deeper than that. Like among our eight principles are, you know, sleep and spiritual wellness and uh, outdoor activity, you know, which all do scientifically have a, you know, contribute to or have an attribution related to your longevity. And, you know, I've gone through some great health programs with some of the best hospitals in the world. I've been fortunate to do that, but most won't, most don't talk about the mental health, your mental health, I don't know that any of them really talk about your spiritual wellness. And I also know none of them actually talked about the outdoors, at least the ones that I went into. And, 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 you know, and we, we believe in all of that, that full aspect of the total human and, and the way we we've always for 45 years talked about medicine is, is in an integrative way. And, you know, not a lot of people understand or know the, the definition, the true definition of integrative medicine, but 
it came to life for me. I did the longevity eight program myself. Again, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, a little bit of a nerd and a pat, you know, have a, a high passion about longevity, but it came to life for me in the most effective way. When I realized that I had met with all these different experts, nutrition and sleep and, and doctor and spiritual wellness. And what happened in the, in the integrative con- context was after I'd done all my labs, I'd done all my interviews, I'd done all my one-on-ones, I'd done DEXA and VO2 max and sports science. I'd done all this stuff that the whole team of everybody that worked with me, they all got together as a unit, as a team, and actually started talking about me and the results and what they learned about me. So that in an integrative way, the nutritionist was talking to the sleep (laughs) specialist to identify that, oh, light bulb. Well, the reason he's having trouble sleeping is because of what he ate or drank before he went to sleep. Whereas sometimes you might not have that cross-pollinization of ideas or discoveries that help lead you to an integrative solution. You know, and you may have to run all over town to see all these different specialists. It might take you months to get in to see all of them. At Canyon Ranch, we offer the opportunity to come and see everyone at once. You have all of this activity occurring over multiple days. Everybody's sharing their results. Everybody works together. And at the end of the day, not only do we provide you a roadmap going forward, but in a longer term relationship, we'll provide you roadside assistance. <laughs> you know, it's like, let's help you along over the next six months to six years and beyond. And it's just really special. And I, I, I tease with our team often that, you know, that, you know, longevity eight seems like it was created for the consumer audience. It was kind of created for me. I'm sharing it with the consumer audience. <laughs> As you're talking about this, it's your kind of looking at the landscape. You're seeing what other people are doing. You're obviously have a sense of, what's in demand at the existing kind of destinations and services. You're thinking about where Canyon Ranch plays relative to these shifts in, in demand. What, what does this, you know, kind of CEO role of a company like Canyon Ranch entail? Is it this kind of like ideation and thinking about the next offering and putting the pieces together and then bringing the team to, together to do that? How do you think about both your kind of day-to-day role and like that bigger picture of like, Hey, this is how I continue to, you know, drive the the company forward. I mean, it's a blast. I have a blast. I, I mean, I couldn't be more blessed or happy to have the opportunity and uh, not just on a day-to-day basis, but to, to be uh, a steward of a brand with a legacy like ours, it's pressure, but it's, it's real. Right. And it's like, I don't want to let anybody down. I don't want to let myself down. I don't want to let my colleagues down. I don't want to let the brand down, the history down. Uh, I pay deference to it every day. And, and, I work very hard to ensure that, you know, our next 45 years are as good or better than our prior 45 years. And it's really exciting. You know, the wellness space is is on fire. So you're constantly involved in uh, discovery and exploration and innovation and ideation and all those things that you want to do to go find unique opportunities. We're also as a brand in, in our properties today, we've been in the midst of kind of reinventing ourselves a little bit. We're doing you know, we're doing things differently. You know, in the past, we'd, as an example, we, you know, we'd bring people in and uh, on an issue like mental health, and they would meet with some of our experts, and we do a terrific job of engaging with people and and uh, developing some lifetime relationships. This November, we're we're hosting our largest ever mental health retreat in Tucson for 60, 60 people, but this time the entire event was curated by and is being. Uh, hosted by Alanis Morissette, you know, it's a little, you know, who has a passion for, for mental health and healing. So it's exciting to be able to do things like that, you know, where uh, we can align with kindred spirits. We can try new things. We can engage in a different way. We can be fashion forward and and contemporary in the way we're approaching things. Um, We live in a different world that's fast paced, that's um, quick hits and short attention spans and all those, all those things. You know, which is in some senses is contradictory to us trying to play the long game about helping, you know, elongate life and happiness. So we've got to find different ways to do it. But we're excited about it. And we've been we've embraced technology and new investments around uh, products and, and the medical side and on the sports side and even amenities for our resorts. You know, it's it's exciting. We we particularly with our resorts, we have these great wellness experiences and very technical and often serious care and, and, and programs around that, but it's set in a resort, you know, whether it's 
the Sonoran Desert in the Southwest or the Berkshires in the Northeast and or the Redwoods in California and points in between. So again, been around 45 years, but I, I'd be surprised if there was there was not a more exciting time than the time we're in now. And, and we're building, you know, we're building a brand new resort for the first time, you know, where we actually get to to put a lot of these new learnings and these new explorations and ideas to work from day one. And that's that's also really exciting. So I'm fortunate to have a great team and some really great expertise and people around me. And I wake up with a spring in my step every morning and excited to get to work. Yeah. And maybe a couple more questions before we wrap up down this path of continuing maybe this the next 45 years and all this opportunity in the wellness industry and, and all the things that we've talked about so far, but also significant investments in growth and new concepts and, and new programs. Uh, the, the wellness club certainly seemed to be like a big focus, developing new technologies to engage people. If we were to maybe fast forward, or maybe you already know, and this is on the roadmap, how do you anticipate Canyon Ranch showing up, you know, call it in the next five to 10 years for people versus yeah. maybe how you have in the past? I mean, we're, we're clearly, I, I say that we're clearly in the wellness experience business, right? We deliver experiences um, in, every, in every place that we operate, in every different way, whether it's one of our resorts or the spa in Las Vegas. We're in the experience business in which our point of difference is the expertise and capability and connection that, that our human team has with the people that we serve. And I, I don't know that we'll necessarily deviate from that. I don't know that you know, we'll necessarily go launch an app to help you sleep better. I mean, I guess Calm's already done that but, yeah. or whatever. But, you know, I, th I, I think of ourselves in the experience business. I think we can have, you know, over the next several years, I think we could probably have another resort or two in some other interesting locations. We like the residential community model. I also like the model of providing education and enrichment to people that may not necessarily be at our resorts. I mean, there's you know, why couldn't there be a Canyon Ranch day in Seattle or week in Seattle in which we take some of our expertise and our experiences and engage with people there, whether it's uh, just in, corp in corporate America or, you know, people, you know, just people who are passionate about wellness. Uh, we could do this, do those sorts of things. I think that that personal touch and experience is always going to be at the heart of what we do. We're still, rel we have almost 1500 employees, but we're not still relatively small. We're family owned. The, the Goff family in Fort Worth, Texas has been our principal owner for, for a number of years. We're, we're fortunate we have a financial partner, an investor partner called Vici, which is a publicly traded REIT who's invested in us in, uh, in Austin, in our growth in Austin, and also um, in, our, in our corporate growth. So we're fortunate that we have access to capital. We've got the great baseline of a team, a great legacy and history I think a pretty distinctive point of, of differentiation. And so I think we're also, we're pretty comfortable surveying the landscaping and seeing where there are different opportunities, being entrepreneurial. There may be, you know, there may be an area or two that, that we haven't even identified yet that we would feel comfortable entering. You know, we've, again, I think on the strength of the brand, we have over a million lifetime guests you know, a pretty good halo effect of people who've, who've experienced our properties over the years. So I think we have, and we have authority and we have authenticity, you know, so I think we have the ability to apply ourselves and leverage what we have and we'll see where that goes. And then one more thing that, you know, as you're talking about this with 1500 some employees, the you know, certainly dispersed in terms of the locations and destinations, operating this from a, you, you talk a lot about human connection and building relationships and the expertise and the authority. Look, that's, it's challenging to have one, you know, location down the street that you can go to every day and operate when it comes to maintaining the, the caliber that, you know, I'm sure you're focused on doing and delivering the experience. Yeah. Just how do you think about and how have you been able to maintain the level of, yeah, experience and kind of the, the human touch that's required to operate a business like this? Well, you, you know, we often say that the, that there's great value in our brand, but the ultimate value is in our people. And, you know, we just have so many colleagues around the country, many who've been doing this for so many years. I'll, I'll run into a colleague in Tucson or Lenox or 
in particular, and they'll say, yeah, you know, you know, it's like, or I'll get an email like, you know, so-and-so just celebrated their 30th anniversary with the company or their 25th anniversary with the company. And most people have been around and they've been carrying the torch and the light for Canyon Ranch for you know, now 20 years or 30 years. And, and those are the people, those are our, our people will always be our secret sauce, their expertise and their, uh, and the experiences that they help deliver. It's a lot to, to operate companies in multiple time zones, doing multiple things and very, intensive right in the service propositions of everything from spas to health and performance to outdoor sports food and beverage front desk like you would have in a traditional hotel or resort setting there's a lot there housekeeping you know you've got there, there's a lot so you know we're all driven by just just trying to, to wake up every morning and to provide our guests with uh, a memorable in many cases life-changing experience where we where they, they leave uh, feeling better about themselves, more optimistic about their own road forward, excited or reinvigorated in their physical or mental self, um, you, you know, a new enthusiasm about relationships or their work or, you know, what their new goals or objectives going forward or having just reset and, and chilled out for a few days and getting back to the grind. So, you know, when you think about executing those sorts of things, those sorts of moments, for people and being able to deliver those, that's a pretty special gift to be able to do that. You know, it's like our work is hard, but the outcome of that work is, can just be so important and gratifying and fulfilling and difference making. And so you better have your shirt, you better have your soulful shirt on every day where you're just sort of reflecting on the idea that, that what you're doing is pretty, pretty darn cool. I mean, it's like, you know, I, I have great respect for people in all sorts of different industries, but when you drop somebody off at the airport after spending four or five days with you and they have a, a mile wide smile saying those were the best five days of my life, that's pretty meaningful, <laughs> you know. Incredible legacy and also at the same time, an incredible opportunity going forward and will certainly be you know, keeping track of all the things that come up from Canyon Ranch as we survey the, the industry. For folks who are listening, I think, you know, to learn more about both what's happening in terms of the services, the offerings, the destinations, but also, hey, maybe to check it out and come and get a break. Um, where would you point them to learn more? I'd like everybody check out our website, canyonranch.com, and you can learn all about our properties and our programs and our people. And uh, we'd love to have you visit and Please do. Yeah. Well, Mark, it was an awesome conversation. I'm so glad that we had a chance to chat and thanks for being here. Thank you, Joe. It was great. Appreciate it. Thanks for listening to today's episode. If you got value from the conversation, please consider subscribing and sharing the podcast with a friend or colleague. It's a massive help. And if you want more content like this, including news and insights on the latest industry developments, subscribe to the Fit Insider newsletter at insider.fit.co. And one more thing. You can learn more about our recruiting and consulting services at fit.co. That's F-I-T-T dot C-O. I'll see you here next week.